Here's our expression for delta t from the page before where we substituted again the expression for v naught y in where it occurred. And of course now we have a function of h. Delta t is now a function of h, not v naught y. Before we substituted it was a function of v naught y, but v naught y is a function of h. So we've actually formed a composite function and that's what our delta t is. We square this number here and we get this. Okay, the numerator is a square root, and of course we get rid of the square root. The denominator is L, so we get L squared. Then we notice that we got an L in the denominator here and an L squared in the denominator here. Now if we factored out an L squared out of this term here, which we're going to do in a minute, uh, it would become the square root of L squared, which is a 1 over L. So we'd have a 1 over L in this term and a 1 over L in this term, and our L could come down here, which is what we've done. The only thing we've got to do is we've got to be sure that we factor the L out of this, and there's no, or the L squared, and there's no L squared in 190,000. But there will be if we put this over a common denominator. 1960H cubed over L squared plus 190,000 L squared over L squared. Then when we factor out the L squared, we'll be left with 190,000 L squared, the numerator, and everything will work out. Now, we might not have followed all that, but the point of this problem is not just the algebra, and we don't want to get too hung up on the algebra. And if you didn't follow that, I want you to think about it, see if you can figure it out, but don't lose sight of where we're going. Now that we have an expression for delta t, of course we have an expression for v0x, we can get our x. x is v0x times delta t. Well, V0x, as we saw earlier, was we said the square root of 2 times 980 times h times the square root of L squared minus h squared over L. 2 times 980 it gave us our 1960 here. So we have this. And that's just our old expression for V0x. Then we take our expression for delta t. Well, that's going to be all this stuff, what we just got a minute ago over 980L, right? So this over this is our delta t. So all we've done is we've made a product function. We've multiplied the v0x function by the delta t function, and we've got a big function of h, and this is x. So we've got our function here, and if we plot this function, we can see where it maximizes, okay? If we plot this thing, it'll look kind of like uh, an inverted parabola, but it kind of comes up like this, and then it comes down pretty sharply. So it's not exactly like an upside-down parabola but it has kind of that shape and it certainly has a maximum. And by looking at that parabola for the given length L, we could determine at what height of the end of the ramp the ball goes the maximum distance. So again, this is just a function. You can plot it using derive, you could plot it by plotting points. Uh, you probably can't tell exactly what kind of a function it is, but it's a perfectly good function. And it tells us our distance x has a function of how high we raise the end of a ramp of length L.